Okay, so it's March 4th and we're going to do an update. And this video is going to be centered around the kind of larger plants in the tent. Excuse my morning voice. But um, let's kick it off front to back. So this is the Picanio pepper. It's looking pretty decent. It's not got crazy size. I did take out the other one that was with it. Um, but it's it's not crazy size. We've got two flowers on it. Uh, a couple buds and no pepper set yet but it's doing fine i hope that it thickens up and um it doesn't need water today but i will probably give it some extra nutrients some extra nitrogen when i do water it just to kind of juice it a little bit and try to get it to grow a good amount uh, it was definitely a late transplant so i think that's why it's a little bit small moving on to hydra hydra's looking pretty good um not the best, honestly. The, the the ends here, they look a little weird. And I'm not sure what that is, but I feel like that's too much nutrients. I gave it 10 milliliters of BioThrive into a gallon last time I watered it. But it's doing pretty good. And it got a lot taller, actually, um, from from last week. I, I kind of feel that it's gotten a lot a lot taller so the bio thrive is definitely kicking in and doing what we want but maybe we gave it too much so uh this one again mm, i don't think it needs water today probably won't need water till midweek and we'll give it just normal water this week and then moving on to this guy this guy's got his shape going that way he's kind of like you know he he wants to grow out this way which it was cool at first, but now it's getting kind of annoying. I'll have to stake it. Uh, as for what's going on underneath the hood, we do have lots of flowers in this guy. No pepper say it. Oh, that's a pepper. That's for sure a pepper. If we can zoom up. I can't zoom up because I have both hands full, but um, that's definitely a pepper that's setting. So hopefully that will stay and we'll get our first pepper. Uh, moving on to... Little bro, broken leg. Now, starting off with little bro, who's now big bro, uh, looking very good. The leaves are all looking pretty solid. Um, not the not the deepest green, and you can actually see kind of like on this leaf, it's kind of apparent that there's a a slight yellowing that's kind of starting to occur. So maybe it does need a little nitrogen. Um, all I've been feeding this thing is Fox Farm Tiger Bloom, which is a 284, and it seems to be doing pretty decent. There's an aphid right there, and we'll get into we'll get more into that later. Um, but down in here, lots of lots of um pepper flowers forming. Um, the offshoots are doing their thing, they're going pretty pretty good, and uh they're going better than this one, so I would say, you know, um trimming the large leaves is, is is maybe a good idea it's kind of like super cropping with cannabis where you trim all the large leaves and the energy goes through the bud sites in this same way maybe you can super crop a pepper plant and and cause the uh energy to go into the flower formation but anyway uh we do have problems i haven't been the best at checking in the past couple days but see that's an aphid so that's a big problem and um, otherwise the plant the plant looks great but again i haven't been checking it's been a lazy week and um i'm being punished for that right now because if we look at this one <clears throat> this area is kind of like kind of gnarled up and gristled a little bit compared to the rest of these areas i'm not sure why that that is but this plant has started to look a, a tad less healthy in the last week or so um, offshoots are still there. Big leaves are still there. Things are going okay. A little bit of, um, dried up leaf in there, but pretty good. And then all these flowers, um, are, are coming. So we're going to get peppers off this thing. No problem. But, um, well, you know, nothing's guaranteed, but it looks like we've got some peppers, but we also got some problems because if we look, if we zoom in here, can't get it to focus can i but on that right there you can see an aphid and then most terribly up here 
you can definitely see aphids up in there. So um, this is my fault for not being on the ball and continuing with the pesticide regimen. And, um, you know, you really gotta, you really gotta look at your plants every day. You gotta block, block out at least 15, 20 minutes just to once over them and, or things like that happen. You know, you come out, you take a close look after a couple days and you see aphid problems. Now this like white stuff is usually because they ate some, ate some of the poison pesticide that's on it. But in any case, this plant is still looking pretty good and pretty large we've just got an aphid problem starting out so tonight before the lights go out we will s spray everything in the tent with azimax and then that usually takes care of the aphid problem if that doesn't work then we're gonna have to order some ladybugs and set up a death chamber with an outdoor greenhouse which is which will be fun but anyways, uh, that's what's going on with these plants, and we're going to move on to the other stations in the uh, garden, if you could call it that. A little bubbly, a little crazy, little, little, beautiful, rough times. So that's what we got for you. Oh, and... Um, these two in the back, again, I'm just waiting till they're super dry and then watering until runoff. Uh, I don't remember when the last time I watered them, but I got to say I'm putting in maybe a half gallon a week. Can't be more than that. And then these two, it's probably a half gallon every week, week and a half, maybe less. This thing, because it's in soil, is even less. The tent is just, they don't, uh, they don't soak up a lot when they're sitting in the tent. But anyway, that's what's going on.